Hi, so today I'm going to talk about uh, how to do a simple soil jar test. Uh, it can, can be easily be done uh, by anybody. Uh, it's a very low cost uh, effective method and we prim primarily do it to understand the texture of the soil and the size particles. The soil consists mainly of uh, clay, silt and sand. So this helps us determine what are the percentage of each of these types of soil in your soil in your farm. The reason we're doing this is uh, a because uh, soil in your uh, farmland is not uniform. There are different kinds of soils in different parts of the land, and this helps you understand. Uh, once you determine what kind of soil it is, it helps you determine what kind of tree and plant will best survive and suit in and thrive in that condition. And hence, we do this test. So I am at the Hosa Chigru Abhiruti farm and I will now take you all through the process of the soil jar uh, testing. Uh, the things that you would require for the soil jar testing is a simple jar, a mason jar that you would have. You can use a normal uh, pickle jam jar. Uh, make sure it's flat on the sides and not serrated. Uh, uh, I will show you why it's uh, required a flat surface because when you're measuring it, uh, you don't want serrated uh, uh, sides uh, to uh, block your uh, measuring scale. Apart from this, you would require uh, filter water and uh, a ruler. That's about it. Hi, so now I'm going to show you how to do the test. Uh, you take the soil. Uh, uh, make sure you uh, take uh, 4 inches of the top soil only and not go deeper than that. Uh, and uh, fill it uh, into the jar and fill two thirds of it and fill it with water. Make sure that the water is either filter because uh, we don't want uh, other minerals uh, in it. So the cleaner the better, the more filtered the better. Do not fill it up to the brim, keep a little space. We shut it tight and shake it. We are doing this so that all the soil gets mixed uniformly with the water and there are no lumps in the mixture. What you can do is uh, throughout the day you can keep mixing the jar uh, every two hours and uh, then rest it on a flat surface overnight. In the morning uh, the layers will be formed as to which, uh, how much clay and how much sand and how much silt is. You will find a clear, uh, uh, distinct layers. Now those layers need to be measured uh, into according to what their percentage is. And against the soil testing uh, measurement triangle, we can uh, determine what kind of soil it is. So here was a quick, easy and the most cost effective way to determine the soil on your land which is necessary to the, which is one of the factors necessary in uh, ordering to understand which plant needs to be planted and which tree needs to be planted uh, in your farm or your garden.